Okay, here we are at CES, and we're at the Intel booth today. Now, there were quite a few announcements made with Intel. One of the big ones was Intel getting into the smartphone category. So they're going to be supplying, first into China, a new uh, smartphone product, uh, partnering up with Lenovo to start with. Now, what we've got here is Intel's smartphone reference design. So instead of just providing the chip and perhaps the architecture, they've actually provided an actual working sample that other manufacturers can use as a base or reference for their own designs. It's a Z2460. It's a 32 nanometer chip. It runs at 1.6 gigahertz and it includes Intel hyperthreading technology. Now inside this chip is a graphics media accelerator and also an advanced image signal processor. And what that means is this phone graphics uh, performance is incredible and its imaging performance is also exceptional. Also included in this phone is a 21 megabytes per second modem. Now I'm running Android 2.3 stock. This is a four inch screen. I've got an eight megapixel camera on the back. I've got a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. And this plays 1080p, it records 1080p, and it has all the bells and whistles that you'd expect from a smartphone of this nature. Now, with a phone that's this powerful, and I'm going to be showing you uh, some very, very cool demonstrations of what this phone can do, you'd expect battery life to suffer. Uh, on the contrary, the battery life of this is exceptional. This is an area where Intel have really focused their attention. We get 14 days of standby time on this phone. We get eight hours of uh, 3G voice call talk time and we get six hours of 1080p video. So it's a very, very energy efficient chip. So let me show you what this phone could do. One of the areas where it really excels is in browser performance. Um, if I can load up this site, let's see what we've got. I'll try and go in here. Okay, so this is a BBC site. Uh, we're gonna load up the homepage and what I'm gonna do is just click on uh, a link and uh, you'll see how fast this renders. So, we're using a, a Wi-Fi link that's not particularly quick, and there you go, the page is there already, and we can pinch and zoom, it's very responsive. In the real world, when you're using 3G, this browser's response is quicker than anything out there at the moment. Now, Java is an area...